Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, let's get back into it. Did Lothering have any lineage? It wasn't a big enough village to have a wall around it, let alone a place for elves. Where did the elves live then? Stables and outbuildings mostly. I think I like alienages better. Mm hmm. Yeah, probably. Weapon shop. Sell you and you and you. Oh, no, wait. Buy you back. There we go. Wow, we're up to a hundred sovereigns already. Wait, why are these so much more armored than mine? Hold the phone. Let's. Maybe we should take a look and see what I should equip. Yeah, this does almost twice as twice the damage. So yeah, let's take a look and see uh, what I should equip here. What? I can't. There was a bow, wasn't there? No, wait, hang on. Stop! No, go back! Okay, thank god. Alright, let's redo this. Thank god that I went to that shop first and not last. That would have sucked. Okay, now look at all these. Yes, so equip this. And... Okay. Cool, cool. I think that works out rather nicely. Uh, I don't think we need anything here. It's Bella and Meryl. You guys need something. Give that to you. And Meryl. You can have that. And that. And that. Gains great mastery over here. two plus. Oh, that's gonna be me. I'm gonna drink that. Yay. Why is my dexterity down by two? That doesn't make any sense. always fun in games on the sea though there are storms and hostile pirates and it's trying being cooped up with men who haven't seen a woman in months you're a woman exactly and i don't usually let them touch me so they get frustrated 
I insist all of them get alone time. Helps with the crankiness. They're already lonely. Why would you insist they be alone some more? <laughs> oh, Meryl. What? Did I miss something? Go think about it. Maybe it'll come to you. <laughs> You're from... Okay, so that... Keep those daggers, sell the rest. Okay. Armor shop. The circle likes it. I hear it's better. Death of a Templar. The Enigma of Kirkwall. Emmerich. Recognize your mage. This was left in the foundry you mentioned in your notes. I was also attacked by shades. These are human bones. Then there is no chance of finding Meren alive, or any of the others. If they're not dead, watch out for a bunch of boneless women flopping through the streets. Show some respect. My people have been slow to react, but this needs official support. I will bring this to the city guard immediately. It should be enough to convince them the disappearances are worth investigating. Good idea. Are you the Templar who is pursuing the boy Fainrail? I did not realize his name was known so widely. Perhaps you know Ariane from when she was with the Dalish. We don't all know each other. There are a lot of clans, you know. Are you a friend of his? Have you met him? What is he like? From his mother's description, he sounds much like any youngster we bring to the Circle. Frightened of his gift, resentful at losing his freedom, convinced he is the one exception to our laws. Hardly someone you would wish the power to murder people with his mind. No young boy should have to face down demons alone. It is surprising what sympathies mages evoke. I always expect people to be more wary of their powers than touched by their struggles. If we do not find Fainreal soon, it will not matter. Either he will be taken by the demons, or by less mystical predators. And I've said more than enough on the topic. This is a Templar matter, and we will be handling it. Aveline, don't you think this matter concerns the whole city? It does, and you Templars are spread thin to begin with. True. Sadly, there are more mages fleeing than we can easily keep up with. Then let the city guard do what we're good at. I can track the boy. There is a Templar, a former Templar, by the name of Samson. He left the Order due to philosophical differences. He has been known to help mages flee Kirkwall. If Fainreal went to him, Samson wouldn't tell me. He stays out of sight by day, but I've seen him at night, near the entrance to Darktown. Yeah, I know where Samson is. Uh, 
So what to put your points into now? I guess we're doing this. Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messiah. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The Knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. There's been at least half a dozen. Wilmot and Karen were the most recent. Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Messiah. A Knight Lieutenant gives you an order and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. You're already defying orders to talk to me. Might as well share the good stuff. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. Interesting. What else do you know about the initiation? You hear about some... <laughs> questionable things that the Order must do these days. The Knight Commander only wants Templars that can do... what must be done. Andraste alive. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. If Wilmot came back, he might know more about the other missing recruits. I bet he would. Wilmot told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it, right before he chased after Wilmot. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. Sweet. This is cheerful. Quite. Someone placed manure in it again. Another prank by an apprentice, I see. <laughs> Aww. Welcome, my dear friend, to Sol's shop. My name is Solivitus. Please take a look around. My apologies in advance. Our shelves are a bit bare at the moment. Actually, if you're interested, I could use a bit of help to remedy that. <laughs> remedy that? Potions shop. <laughs> you, my good man, are priceless. The pun wasn't intentional, although I may use that next time. It's been too dangerous to leave the city of late, and the substances I require for my creations are, of course, elsewhere. But perhaps you can find them. You'll be compensated for your time, have no fear. I'll also give you first pick of my new creations. Make up a list of what you need, and I'll keep an eye out for you. Perfect. A discount on everything in the shop, Sirrah. Yay. Would have been nice if I, uh, did that first. Thank you, my friend. Only one thing on the list left to find. Sweet. It's the one thing on the list left to find. Welcome back to Seoul, my friend. I think I found something of yours. You found it? By the voice, I didn't think... Thank you. You're welcome. So this is the area that we started out in. That's interesting. Whoa, I didn't realize it was that big. I never looked up before. That's a big mage's tower. C 
seekers of truth. to low town to complete dark epiphany to know more about being a guard, Aveline. I don't think that's the job for you. I know, but it might help me not get caught. You probably shouldn't have said that part. Right? <laughs> Just... never mind. <laughs> Why would you be getting caught, Meryl? What would you be doing? Boy is nabbed by the Kamari. There's the dead drop. Hopefully the wardens will appreciate this. Huh. You're welcome, warden. Gamelin's house? What do we have to do in Gamelin's house? So, what? Are you here to gloat? Gamlin's the idiot again. Gamlin's the fool who can't hold his money when it's given in a bloody silver basket. I tried, you know, when Leandra left. But no one was ever going to live up to her. What was she like, as a girl? We're only a year apart. But that was time enough for Leandra to get our parents wrapped firmly around her little finger. They showed her off at every opportunity. The beauty, the scholar, the light of their lives. As far as they were concerned, they should have stopped there. I've seen the nobles in this town. Your parents must have had a fortune. Where did it all go? Well, it's not like I stood at the side of the wharf and hurled it over. I tried to invest it. I got some good tips on trade in Kunari cheeses. And, really? you know man's got needs I'm not denying I spent more on myself than I should have but I figured it would all work out so the best way to make daddy love you was to steal his money I changed their filthy sheets and wiped their chins through two bouts of the cholera and the last word father said was Leandra I'm not looking for love but at least I got the money. And here I was, just about to like you. <laughs> oh. Damn, should I have... not sold that bow? I guess I shouldn't have sold that bow. I should have put it in, uh... Dark Epiphany. I understand that you are to thank for the return of the Lost Grave Warden letters. 
This deed did not go unnoticed. Please accept the enclosed reward and the warden's blessings. Your discretion about this affair is appreciated. Anonymous. Cool. Okay, uh, let's switch it up a bit. Let's take out Fenris. Um... Isabella, just because I don't want to switch weapons. And... We need a mage. Uh... Meryl? Two elves? Two elves, two humans? Yeah. Let's do that. To the docks. You've probably never met a Dalish before, have you? I wouldn't know. I'm sure you'd be able to tell. Dalish aren't much like the elves in the cities. The smug sense of superiority does give you away. <laughs> Let me pass. I have business with the dwarf Javaris and your Arashok. The short mouth, yes. Enter if you must, Basra. You go on ahead. I would rather not. And I won't go in for now. I don't want to put this off for long. Something I should know. I just don't want to go prancing around with Kanari. We'll talk another time. Okay. Interesting. Venice, you got a lot to level up. Uh, Vanguard or two handed? Let's do two handed. Let's go switch out our party members. Isabella from Varric. There we go. Enter if you must. The Canary. Over here? Nope. Ah, my right hand arrives. Summon your era shock. The bargain is done. About time you showed. I've been here for hours. Shokost, Maras Shokra, Anan Isamkun. Look hewn from an elf. The madness of this place. Friend of yours. Friend of no one. Yes, well, that said, I'm here to report that your hated Talvashoth were felled, one and all, right? Yes, they were. So, 
ready to open negotiations for the explosive powder, as we agreed. No. He's not getting it. Make your chatty elf say something. Any insight that would help? Kunari do not abandon a debt. I humbly request clarification from the Arishok. I have a growing lack of disgust for you. The dwarf imagined the deal for the Gatlock. He invented a task to prove his worth when he has none. Then we have wrongly inserted ourselves in your affairs. Would you have us kill this dwarf? Wait, what now? If you face Talvashoth, he is not worthy of dying to you, as he was not worthy of dying to them. But you, you keep good company. Let him live, and leave. You may want to take this opportunity to go. But he has to sell. It's a product. People want it. There is no profit in empowering those not of the Kuhn. The means of creating the Gatlock is ours alone. It shall be dispensed only to our enemies, in the traditional manner. You are a frustrating people. And you're fired. Sodding bunch of oxmen and dog lords. A whole lot breathing smoke. Pah. You will leave as well, human. There's no more coin for you here. The city exists only to defile itself. I want to talk to you. Why do you bother me, human? I hire no blades and need no goods. Your kind thinks selfishness and want are normal. This city, all of it, leaves a bad taste. You don't want to talk? We won't talk. Hold! Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just... festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You turned from me. Do you turn as easily from all this chaos? I'm gonna play my character. Why would anyone want to change it? You like it <laughs> it's a city of people living their lives for good or ill what what is this uh... why do you bother your kind thinks selfishness and want are normal they... you don't oh. Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too... I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You turned from me. Do you turn as easily from all this chaos? Why would... You... like it? <laughs> it's a city of people living their lives, for good or ill. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. You allow chaos for good or ill, but one is clearly superior. Can you see how that certainty would benefit this whole city? Sorry, I find myself distracted by deny and die. And yet you accept the random violence that plagues this nation. I wonder if the weaker of your citizens would be so close to certainty. Our role may have to change. If the Kuhn demands. 
I suspect we are done, human. I don't think Kirkwall would do well under military rule. The rule of the Kune is not military. It is discipline and order. That's How military. Is that different? To your limited understanding, it is not. You fear soldiers that arrive to remove your pitiable vices. But they do not control Kunari. The Triumvirate divides and governs. One is nothing without the others. Can you tell me about the other two parts? No. <sighs> now you're just being difficult. I am no more equipped to explain than you are to understand. Ari Shock, Ari Gaina, Ari Kuhn. Pillars of the Kunari, of the nation that must be. There is but one way to know these things, human. And I have yet to decide if it must be done. You're a long way from home. Why did you come? To meet a demand of the Kuhn. Which was? It is a matter only the Kunari understand. We remain until we fulfill the demand of the Kuhn. Or until the demand changes. How many Kunari have you lost to the Talvashan? None. <laughs> Optimistic, considering my death toll. We lose nothing when weakness abandons the Kuhn. It is the Talvashoth who have lost themselves. Huh? You guard your powder carefully. It is a tool that can only be allowed to exist under the ordered authority of the Kuhn. It could benefit many people. It does now. Just as swords benefit warriors, but are not given to children. Well, your children. Huh. Farewell. Panahedan, human. So few examples of true purpose, or even character. We have little to discuss, human. For now, I would think on the fate of this city. Farewell. Okay. Nothing Panahedan, there. human. Moving on. It's Bella. Time to get you back in our party. We're done with the air shock. Sweet. This fell into my hands. Recognize it. I had long since paid my debt over this. It's grand to see it again. Nice. Moving on. Where to next? Now, I wonder if we brought Fenris to the gallows, if they would consider him a mage because of the lyrium in his arms. Even though he's a warrior, he's like a warrior mage, kind of. All right, uh, let's go here. Fenrir. Well, are you here to socialize or did you bring my goods? Uh... I gave the goods away. Let's be honest. I made a charitable contribution to immigrant welfare. You what? <laughs> you gave my goods away to that pockmarked prat? You soft-hearted Ferelden bastard. I should have known better than to trust any of you. 
Don't even think about working with me again. Aww. I shouldn't have given it away, should I? Because now we won't ever work again, will we? Damn it. So this relic you mentioned losing... You have pretty eyes. I have pretty eyes. You elves have such pretty eyes. Even the men. It makes me want to pluck them out and wear them as a necklace. I wouldn't suggest trying. Oh, I would never try. Not without reason, of course. Forget I said anything. Ha. <laughs> Traditionalist, our boy. This fell into my hands. Recognize it. An old, foolish thing to need. Thank you for saving me the trip. Bounty. Rescued the Viscount's son. Offered on authority of His Excellency Viscount Marlow Dumar. Citizens of able nature, Viscount Dumar requires your aid. His son, Samus Dumar, has been lost to uncertain company, and a safe return is sought with all haste. Make your case of skill to Seneschal Bran at his station in His Excellency's keep, and then and the reward for this act shall be generous in both sentiment and coin. Interesting. Yeah, sure. Let's buy the backpack, even though we don't need it. What else are we going to spend our money on? Don't you have stuff? Tom of Technique. What did that do for me? Huh. I solved your problem. So, what happened? One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. Well, he wasn't. Go there and see the corpses for yourself. But... I thought they're extinct. I believe you. You made them extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. You thought dragons were extinct? When it is the age of dragons because dragons have returned to the world? You idiot. Doesn't everybody know that it's Dragon Age because dragons have returned to the world? Gosh. It's the age of dragons for a reason. I bet their first task will be cleaning up the entrails the last shift left behind. A dragon killer and a mind reader. Wonderful. Let us discuss your payment. You have been a great help. Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? I am offering a 50-50 share in the mine. You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. Why would you share half your business with me? I spent a decade honing my business instincts in Valroyo. I once sold a seat cushion to Empress Selene. Simply put, I have a good feeling about you. So, what do you say? Seems like the miners could use protection. And an advocate. So, to our first order of business. We replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there. But it will take some time. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Tell them the Bone Pit is safe again. I'll see what I can do. Sweet. 
There we go. Throw the gauntlet. The duelist issues an irresistible challenge to a single foe. The imme enemy immediately abandons its other opponents to engage the rift. Oh. Sweet. Okay. So... I'd say a triple combo. I heard you lost something. This it. You found this? I don't know what to say. You can start by saying thank you. I couldn't bring back your wife, but here's a ring. It looks pricey. Oh. Ninette's wedding ring. Yes. Look at the engraving. Forever faithful. Forever yours. Oh. Written in happier times. Where did you find it? Uh... Let's not leave them wondering. It was on Ninette's hand, which was cut from her body. She's dead. On her hand? Huh. I see. Uh, well, uh, maybe you should take this back. I don't want anything that might link me to her uh, death. Especially with her family asking questions. No. <laughs> They're going to blame me. I just know it. Excuse me, sir. I have arrangements to make. Sweet. Oh, we don't... Ring isn't magical or anything? We can't keep it? Yeah, at least now he knows what happened to his wife. See, I don't like to leave people wondering. That's just the worst. What is over here? You dare show your face to me again. If you know what's there, you'll leave my city and never. Uh huh. Why? Because we murdered your son, who was murdering other elven children? He was a complete psychopath, your son. Well, actually, he was schizophrenic, if I remember correctly. Because he was claiming to hear voices that were telling him to kill people. And that he was claiming that they were demons. I think he was schizophrenic, if I remember correctly what that quest was about. The Chantry. I didn't know that. During combat, rogues regain a small amount of stamina for each attack they do, and warriors only gain stamina with uh, with each kill. Sebastian, so, will anyone smite me if I tell you I killed the man who wronged your family? Excuse me, who are my post to the Chancellor's board? Did her grace let that stay? I thought for sure no one even read, but you say you've killed them. You have my eternal gratitude, Sirrah. It is comforting to think my parents might now rest easily in their graves. Who are you exactly? I am Sebastian Vale, Prince of Starkhaven. 
Her Grace might prefer I introduce myself as a brother in the Chantry. But I could not stay after what happened to my family. Why didn't your family's enemies hunt you down as well? That's why I took the offensive. Thanks to you, those Flint Company assassins are no longer a danger. I'm the last of my line. Unless I survive, my family will have no justice. Who sent these mercenaries? My family has ruled Starkhaven for six generations. We have enemies, but none who would identify themselves openly. A distant cousin of mine is claiming rulership now, but he is... a bit simple. He can be no more than a pawn in this plot. Surely you have a guess as to who was behind it. My parents were always prudent in how they handled our nobles. They did not allow rivalries or resentments to flourish. The attack must have come from outside. Kirkwall is our largest trading partner. I came back here to find support for my claim, and perhaps for a clue as to who is behind this foul deed. Your parents probably don't care much at this point, but I hope you sleep a bit easier. Yes, I hope I will. Thank you. Consider this in advance. When I have secured my lands again, you will be paid royally. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must meet with the Viscount and petition him for aid to a fellow city. Why Sweet. are you watching me like that? You have Valaceline. The same markings that the Dalish have. Yours are not made of lyrium. No, they're made of blood. Our blood. That's what Valaceline means. Blood writing. It's a mark of adulthood. Mine were carved into my flesh against my will. In a ritual I remember only for the agony it caused me. I'm... so sorry. <laughs> Poor Meryl. She tries so hard. Get back to work. Ooh. Let's do this one real quick. And then we'll go back up to the Viscount Keep. never met a Dalish before, have you? I wouldn't know. I'm sure you'd be able to tell. Dalish aren't much like the elves in the cities. The smug sense of superiority does give you away. We've already heard that. Hey, this one that rescued me from them dragons. A fellow for Elden, no less. Oh, eyes on her face, you lush. A thousand thanks for saving Jensen's worthless hide. Worthless, am I? My farm supplied eggplant to half of the South Reach. Yeah? My eggplant supplied half the bastards in South Reach. <laughs> oh. You're a real hero. Now what brings you here? Shuffle off to the mine. Let me finish those pints for you. Come back to that blight taking hold? I need work, but I don't need to be some dragon's dinner. What if there's more dragon's lair? Or something worse, like, uh, bigger dragons? I go back to the missus without this job. She'll rip me apart, sure as any dragon. What can we do? That bastard Hubert is the only one willing to hire us. Would you go back for twice your previous salary? Wow. Well, I... I trust this tease, Chanson. Take it. We can drown our sorrows every night. And not with his dark town swill, either. Back to work, boys. I'm happy to take more of Hubert's coin. Oh, man. Why rivalry with Isabella? Because we lost coin. 
I clicked it too soon. Like, I didn't realize that it was gonna be giving them more money. I clicked the button too soon to select the dialogue option. That was my bad. I didn't even read what the top option was. My count's key. We got shit to turn in. How much longer do I have to wait? No, can't go back there still. Okay. How much longer do I have to wait? Hope the day is treating you well, Sarah. Let's do this one real quick. I heard you lost something. Yeah, Listen, level up. I didn't expect to see this again. Thank you. Truly. Level up. Vendetta. Every duelist, even an archer, knows that the most memorable fights happen at close quarters. And that the first strike is the most crucial. To gain the advantage, the rogue vanishes behind a cloud of smoke, then strikes the enemy viciously from behind. Thus, this ability can be used from across the battlefield, for few rogues are as capable of moving under stealth as a duelist. Okay, we can use that. In combination with the assassin skills. So we'll do that. Yeah. There's Jevon's office. Wait while I explain our initiative. I don't know how they do it where you're from, guardswoman, but I decide the patrols, not you and your whims. You may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year, but I'll have no show-offs in my command. Have I made myself clear? Report to your post before I have you and your Mereldon accomplice jailed. Well, what a charming fellow. I don't have to like him, but he could at least listen. Bandits are dead. That's all that should matter. It's not the first time he's made me wonder like this. Something is very wrong. This is probably a bad time to discuss my bill with him. He'll jail you. I don't doubt that. The rest, though... Well, the duty roster will have my next patrol. Sounds like I'll have plenty of time to follow you around. Threaten my friends. Not letting that one go, Captain. Huh. Aveline! I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours? It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. A lone guard isn't much of a patrol. Shouldn't need to be. That route was clear for weeks. First noise out of it was your big fight. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. Mm, the satchel? Pay and order assignment. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush? You're sure you want to pursue this? This is your superior we're talking about. If a guard has been put at risk, a good captain would want to know why. And if he's not a good captain, I want to know why. I bet there's a perfectly reasonable lie that explains why your captain <laughs> arranged this. I'd be willing to hear it, but not while a guard may be walking into a trap. 
Brennan said Donick. A good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. The guard will throw you out if you kick that wall one more time. Good luck kicking walls. I've been waiting all day. Insist if you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems... excessive. He may be Talva Shoth. The Winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way! Yes, what is it? If this is about a rescue, that woman did not seem the type. She is the type I feared we would attract. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas's son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. I should know about the competition. The Winters out of Navarra. They don't care one whit if Seamus is returned unharmed. Their lead, Sarah Guinness, is hungry for a foothold in Fair Kirkwall. And frankly, we have enough of their kind. There must be suspicions about why the boy went missing. Why? What have you heard? Nothing. Until now. There is truly nothing known. He is gone, and there have been sightings of a Kunari. The only complication is that Seamus is known to be of a sympathetic mind. He may have placed himself in danger, but it is danger nonetheless. The Kunari are not wild in the city. Petition their leader for the boy's return. The Arashok has declared that it is not his role to do so. Apparently they're rebels, the Talva Shoth, are hunted anyway, killed for what they are, not for what they may have done. That does not bode well for Seamus. This isn't a task for a guardsman? There is a concern of appearance. If we used guards, it would allow Viscount Dumas' opponents to say this admits the Kunari threat, because the city responded. In these times, Public embarrassment is preferable to official embarrassment. Ready the reward. He'll be back in no time. Declare it if you like. But the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them on the wounded coast. Messer, please stop kicking the wall. Cool. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to have to leave this episode here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I've been the loving Miss Scarlet Fox. Please be sure to like the video, comment all the comments, subscribe to the channel, all that good shit. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.